What advice would you give them uh, to improve their chances of success? One of, I think one of my, my great advantages is that I have very low expectations. <laughs> and I mean that. Um, most, of, most of the Stanford graduates have very high expectations. You have, you, and you deserve to have, have high expectations because you came from a great school. Um, uh, you were very successful. You're at top of your, top of your class. Uh, obviously, you were able to pay for tuition. And then you're graduating from one of the finest institutions on the planet. You're surrounded by other kids that are just incredible. You should have very, you, you naturally have very high expectations. People with very high expectations have very low resilience. And unfortunately, resilience matters in success. I don't know how to teach it to you except for I hope suffering happens to you. And uh, I, I was fortunate that I grew up with, a, you know, with my parents um, providing a condition for us to be successful on the one hand, um, but there were plenty of, plenty of opportunities for setbacks and suffering and, um, you know, and, and to, to this day I use the word, the phrase pain and suffering inside our company with great glee. And the reason, and I mean that, you know, boy, this is going to cause a lot of pain and suffering. And I mean that in a happy way because you want to train, you want to refine the character of your company. You want, the, you want greatness out of them. And greatness is not intelligence, as you know. Greatness comes from character, and character isn't, isn't formed out of smart people, it's formed out of people who suffered.